Dude, so the other night, I was literally just on stream, okay? I was streaming on Twitch, you know, link in the description, quick shameless plug, go follow me there. But anyway, I was streaming on Twitch, just having a good time. We were watching some YouTube videos, reacting to them live. And well, this was one of the videos that we watched. Now, of course, it comes from a channel that I'm familiar with. I made a video on this dude in the past when he put out a video, which was like one of the best takes I think I've ever heard in my entire life when it comes to video games. If the PlayStation 5 could run Horizon Forbidden West, at 120 frames per second, I would still want the game running at 30 because anything higher than 30 takes away that cinematic feel from the game. But yeah, this man's an absolute gold mine. He goes by the name of Supernova, which, you know, 10 out of 10 channel name. I guess I really shouldn't talk, though, because my channel name is literally my first name with gaming after it. So I guess I can't really say anything about that. But the video we're going to be watching here is like one of the funniest things I've seen in a minute, bro. Like this dude is legitimately pissed off, bro. Like this man, you can feel the rage just seeping through your headphones. Like you can feel the spit flying into his microphone, bro. Now, I can't read the title of this video because, you know, YouTube will demonetize me if I say this no-no word in the first two minutes. Shout out to you, Susan. Love you. But anyway, you guys can read it up on screen right now. But overall, man, this is gonna be... I don't even know how to describe it, dude. Like, this dude is so filled with rage. Like, I was legit laughing the entire time watching this video. And that almost, like, never happens anymore, dude. Like, this was a fun video to watch on stream. But I just want to put a disclaimer here. This dude is a self-admitted PS5 fanboy. And I just want to make it clear, I'm not, like, making this about the PlayStation or whatever. I just think this dude's reaction is funny. Like, a lot of people say, dude, you only make fun of the PlayStation, you're an Xbox fanboy. It's like, bro, I gotta work with what I'm given here, and so far, it's only PlayStation fanboys that are acting like this. If you have an example of Nintendo or Xbox fanboys acting like this, please link it in my Discord and video suggestions, and I will be more than happy to make fun of that. But dude, the title of this video, I guess I can say it now, it's been two minutes at this point, but yeah, the title of the video is, it's been downgraded, shut the fuck up. And if that that doesn't tell you all you need to know, man. I don't know. This is going to be a fun video, guys. So go ahead, smash that like button, dude. 360 no scope it because I have a feeling once you hear this intro, that's exactly the vibe you're going to get. So without further ado, guys, let's check out this absolutely fantastic YouTube video. You need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Like I said, man, this is like the ultra MLG fucking intro from like 2012, bro. Like literally, tell me I'm fucking wrong here. Oh, baby, it's triple! Oh, yeah! <laughs> What's happening guys, Supernova here, back with another video. Now before I get into this one, I just wanted to let you guys know that I've updated my merch, and I now have t-shirts with my updated dude bro designs. I mean, I'm not trying to flex or anything, but my merch is like legitimately a hundred times better, dude. Like as you can see, this is my new line of merch. A lot of time and effort went into it, dude. Like I literally slaved in front of my computer for countless hours trying to get this design perfect. And I think it turned out pretty well. It's actually been selling really well too, because I mean, personally, I think it's great. Like it's really super clean. And as people read it as they walk by, like it's like a kind of a subtle roast, dude. Like they read the shirt and think, well, fuck, is he calling me pathetic, man? I mean, when people see you in this, they are gonna think, you have a massive dick, dude. Let's keep it real. My merch is like a hundred times better than any other YouTuber's merch. Like this shit is fucking fire, dude. And it's guaranteed to get you laid every single night. Order now. Want to help out your boy and support me? Consider picking up a shirt. If not, no worries. Subscribing, liking, and sharing my videos is more than enough support. You know what? That may be fine for him, but it's not for me, dude. You better order a shirt right now. I don't even care, bro. If you have to ask mommy for the visa, buy a fucking shirt. I now with that shit out of the way, let's get into this motherfucking video. And this one, guys, <laughs> it's gonna be another good one. <laughs> it's gonna be another good one. Dude, like, what the fuck is that laugh, man? Like, that's actually, like, evil sounding, bro. Like, I just picture in the back of my head, like, if I was a kid, and, you know, I'm trying to get into some dude's van because he's saying, oh, come get some free ice cream. And that's, like, the laugh I hear right as he closes the door, and I realize there was no fucking ice cream. <laughs> it's gonna be another good one. Another thing that we need to stop fucking hearing is it's been downgraded. 
And this seems to be exclusively an Xbox fanboy problem, where every time a PlayStation game is announced and shown off, the next time they show it, if it looks even a little bit different, or if a small detail has changed, instantly it's been fucking downgraded. Like, that's how pathetic these motherfuckers are. Bro, the only person you're gonna think is pathetic by the end of this video, trust me, is yourself. Like, honestly, bro, this video is actually sad, dude. But I guess we're forgetting about the whole Halo Infinite shit, right? Like, these motherfuckers will really be like, yo, in the first video, there's 12 birds flying in the sky. But when we saw the game the second time, there's only 11 birds. Yo, they downgraded that shit. <laughs> Bro, what the fuck is this laugh, dude? <laughs> Like, no matter how many times I hear this shit, it just makes me fucking die, dude. Like, it legit makes me feel fucking uncomfortable. I don't know, man. <laughs> Serious? And, like, that's not even me exaggerating. They do shit like this. They're fucking sad, pathetic fucking people. I don't understand why, you know, fuck it. I do understand why they are the way that they are. Because their games fucking suck and they're jealous little bitches. That's why every time a PlayStation game comes out, they have to instantly say it's downgraded. Because somehow it makes them feel better inside to try to tear down a game that they want but can't have. Do you guys hear how mad this man is? Like, you can hear the rage, bro. Like, he is legitimately pissed off right now. But apparently people are jealous over video games. I didn't think it was a thing to be jealous over video games. Like, just go buy the fucking game. It's not like anything's stopping you. And for the people who are gonna say, no, they're jealous because they bought the wrong console and can't play PlayStation exclusive greatness. Well, you know, I'm about to provide you guys with a 300 IQ play here, all right? This is like some industry secret level shit that'll actually blow your mind. This is how you can play every Every single PlayStation exclusive, 100% for free, without even giving Sony or anyone else any of your money. Now, this involves you going to GameStop, which you may think, ew, GameStop, I don't want to fucking go in there. Just wait for it, all right? So go to GameStop, buy a pre-owned PS4 and the pre-owned, like, PlayStation exclusive game. In most PlayStation exclusive games, you can be within a week and you're kind of done with them. So literally, buy a pre-owned console, buy the game pre-owned, beat the game, and then within seven days, you can return that shit to GameStop for a full refund. That's right, guys. You can do this with any console out there. You can do it with the Switch. You can do it with the Xbox, like, if there's even anything worth playing on that shit at this point, if I'm being honest. But, yeah, man, either way, you can do it with any pre-owned console. It's really not that fucking hard. And you no longer have to be jealous of that PlayStation-exclusive greatness, dude. Also, Sony doesn't make any money from that transaction either, so if you don't like Sony and that's the reason why you don't own a console from them, you're in luck. And some of them are even so fucking bad. That not only will they fucking try to compare screenshots and point out differences and then say the game was downgraded, they will fucking Photoshop images to say that a game was downgraded. Like, look at this fucking picture for The Last of Us 2. Dude, could you imagine actually taking the bait this hard? Like, bro, I lost it when this shit popped up on stream and I was watching this. Like, I actually started dying, dude. Like, you could tell this is so obviously doctor, bro. This shit looks more pixelated than a PS2 game on the right. And you literally took the bait. Like, this is literally like a bait post just to, like, get a reaction out of people. And you fucking swallowed that hook whole, dude. But I mean, I guess people can't make obvious shit posts on the internet anymore because this band's health sounds like it's at risk. Like, this dude is about to sound like he's about to go into cardiac arrest out of pure rage when it comes to the screenshot <laughs> dude like actually you know whoever made this meme my applause goes out to you because i used to do this type of shit all the fucking time when i still have my twitter this is a picture a side-by-side -side comparison that was being shared on twitter after the game had come out look at the fucking picture on the right i would pay you a million dollars if you can find me an enemy in that game that looks anything like this fucking burn victim that we have here on the right it doesn't exist this is so clearly fucking doctored manipulated 
photoshopped, whatever fucking word you want to use. It is so clearly bullshit, but they share it amongst their fucking idiot fuckface friends who are so fucking eager to believe the game has been downgraded. They believe this shit because they're fucking idiots. And then they share it to the rest of their fuckface friends who also believe it because they are also fucking idiots. Like, this shit is ridiculous. But again, this is how petty these motherfuckers are. Dude, it's moments like this that really make me miss Twitter. Like, overall, I'm kind of glad I'm off that complete cesspool. But when you get a reaction from someone like this, when it's obvious fucking bait, it's like one of the most satisfying feelings in the world. And that honestly is what I miss the most, dude. Just being able to trigger that many people so easily with so little effort. I didn't even have to make a video. I could just post a picture. But, you know, it's absolutely amazing to me. This man didn't just take the fucking bait. He's literally shitting out the hook at this point like dude you literally described that it was clearly doctored but yet you can't grasp the idea that maybe someone made this shit to get the reaction <laughs> that you just gave them like whoever made this is winning at life bro like you literally took this bait so fucking hard you were calling other people pathetic dude but if you can't wrap your mind around the concept of trolling and bait on the internet then maybe you should take a long hard look in that mirror of yours like, these people are sick in the fucking head. There is something wrong with these motherfuckers. Dude, this is the level we've reached in 2020. If you make a meme on the internet, you are actually fucking sick in the head. ...to Xbox. PlayStation fanboys hardly pull this downgraded bullshit. But Xbox fanboys do it every fucking time. And the reason why is PlayStation fanboys really don't give a fuck about the games that Xbox gets because they suck. They're shit games. I mean, I just really can't imagine being so triggered that I get on like Audacity or whatever I use to record audio and like actually throw a fucking tantrum over obvious internet memes and like a couple toxic fanboys. Like fanboys are fun to laugh at, but I mean, just imagine getting this tilted over some obvious fanboy shit and actually getting this triggered over it, dude. Like I could not imagine this ever fucking happening to me. But then again, he just admitted that he's a PlayStation fanboy. So I don't really know why the fuck he thinks he's better than like Xbox or Switch fanboys. Just because you're a PlayStation fanboy doesn't doesn't mean you're elevated above the rest, bro. You're still a fucking fanboy, and then again, fanboys are not exactly known for being mentally stable. But Xbox fanboys are jealous of the games that PlayStation fans get. They're jealous of God of War. They're jealous of Spider-Man. They're jealous of The Last of Us 2. That's right, man. I know, for one, I am extremely jealous that I cannot play the greatest video game of all time, dude. Like, it's the undisputed masterpiece of our generation. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, dude. I am legit jealous that I cannot play that absolute masterpiece on my PC. And you know what, PlayStation fanboys? If this video says anything, it says that you guys definitely deserve to have that absolute masterpiece piece exclusive to your console they can sit here all fucking day and say oh they're fucking one and done walking simulators the thing is these motherfuckers would love to have a one and done walking simulator as good as god of war i guarantee you they fucking think to themselves at night whose dick do i have to suck to get a one and done walking simulator as good as god of war Holy shit, man, that escalated quickly. We're talking about exclusive games that all of a sudden this dude starts talking about sucking dick, bro. I mean, it's 2020, you do you, man. Who am I to judge? I guarantee you they fucking lay in bed thinking that shit. So since they're jealous little fucks, they try to bring down these games to make them feel better inside. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there, dude. I'd probably suck Abby's dick for The Last of Us Part 2, no cap. Because they are pathetic mother fuckers and yes if you do this i'm talking about you you are a pathetic motherfucker but for some fucking reason there's such big xbox fanboys they can't bring themselves to buy a playstation 4 as well and enjoy the greatness that that console has to offer instead what they'll do is they won't get the console they won't play the games and they will be little spiteful pussy bitches and then sit there and talk shit about them and make fun of them and try to bring them down when they could just easily enjoy the greatness as well but no they're spiteful little pussy bitches and they seriously need to just shut the fuck up
So I guess the moral of the story is here, guys, if you point out downgrades of video games, you're just a pussy-ass bitch who's jealous that they don't have a PlayStation to experience that greatness, dude. But overall, this was an absolutely fantastic YouTube video. I will have it linked in the description. If you want to go and check out the full thing for yourself, it is a 10 out of 10 would watch again video. Like, honestly, this was really fucking entertaining. I was losing it on stream when I watched this, but again, just gonna shamelessly plug my Twitch channel. Link in the description and in the pinned comment. I may be live after this video goes up, actually. Actually. So yeah, look for that just in case. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. I would greatly appreciate it, dude. You know, it would just absolutely make my day. It's my first day of school tomorrow. I'm a little bit nervous. So, you know, this would really just help me out, guys. Please drop a like on this video and I will love you forever. But anyway, guys, with that said, I want to thank you guys so much for all the recent support. Like, it's been absolutely fucking insane. You guys are the best, dude. Thank you all so much for watching these videos. And yeah, guys, I'll catch you all next time.